Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we found this crazy comp out in Heist. Not really like found it out. We knew like all these brothers were really good, but usually they don't really get combined very often. So um, I'll talk about it a little more as we're going through, but as you guys can see with Ash, YouTube, the legend and Bobby BS, the teammate. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've just been running through like teams on Tornado Ring. I think I pushed my 8-bit around 200 cups in like an hour or something. So Pretty good ratio. Um, I'll scroll through the battle log really quick. You guys can see for yourself. So it's gonna be really awkward if we just get like a bunch of win or losses now, um, because I don't think we've lost yet. So let's hop into the games. All right, guys. Game number one. Matchmaking is a little lengthy. It started the season, and I'm not sure exactly what these guys are at, but I'm like 700-ish, so it shouldn't be that bad. But I think Bobby is pretty high up. Um, so you guys can see I have my headphones on. I am listening to my music just for the matchmaking use, but. We're starting off with some fire lag here. Um, so pretty much what you want to do with this comp is the mid control is really, really good. Uh, M's an 8-bit. It's just so much damage. And when I get that like turret set up, uh, the damage booster, and I give it to Ash, he just he goes to town on the save. So we're going to look to chip the mic or the Jesse. That works too. Either works. Um, and we can take out this Rosa really easily now. Um, so ideally, you want to put it up on these barrels. If like Ash is up here and we're just like both in the safe. Just because I think otherwise he's a little out of range, but Rose is going to pop the shield there. Um, she's going to go down anyways. Like, oh, okay, I don't want to jinx it. So you want to place the turret up here usually. Bobby doesn't need it. He, he He's fine. Um, so me and Ash just literally like chip the safe down. They can try body blocking. Nice. We're just going to like slide through and get the first stub. And honestly, that was one of our slower games and that was like a minute. So I'm sure we'll see like a few like one pushes. All right, guys, game number two. Um, so they do have a Daryl, which me and Ash are definitely going to have to keep in check. But the other two brawlers, like Crow, yeah, he's annoying, but he's not really going to get too much value off us, hopefully. As I say that, I get hit by a Crow shot. But we can honestly just ignore him. Um, Ash might go for him. We could base race this. We can base race. Um, so I don't have my turret up, but Bobby does have his rage. And ash could have came up um but it might be safer that he just went for defense i guess at this stage of the game um but the need i can't do anything here so ash is just gonna come up um oh he actually took out both of them nice and because he has like aoe it just goes through them and i'll just go for safe damage it's one shot for mm, we won't get in this push so i think unless ash can finish it off we're gonna be look how slow i am we're gonna be oh okay nice so we beat last game's time um ash must have done something clutch he's gonna like 3v1 but you can just see like the dps is insane on this comp all right guys game number three my wi-fi is so choppy lately i gotta restart my internet after this video it's just atrocious so you can see they do have one of the brawlers that actually counter this comp because another popular comp on this map is double tank with like either m's or mr p or 8-bit um and the only downside of this comp is we kind of like lack the engage a little bit but mr p does kind of counter 8-bit and m's a little bit but this one doesn't have a star power it looks like so we're okay um i'm gonna go down but we do have the damage lead and as long as we can like keep track of that penguin i think we're okay but his damage output like it doesn't seem like a lot but it really adds up okay i gotta play defense here um all right me and ash are gonna get the pinch off and he does counter my turret, so maybe I'll just put it there to bait out some of his shots. All right, there's an M's in there. Nice. Um, you can just see how annoying, like, even though the Mr. P is not doing the most, he's just, like, taking up a lot of our, like, attention. Um, so he's definitely the strongest brawler in the game right now, in my opinion. Um, I'll take out the M's, but on, def or on offense, my teammates are doing a good job. So I gotta, if I just, like, rush at him, Bobby can pinch, and we're good. Um, so that's probably the most efficient way to deal with Mr. P, just kind of going straight for him. Knew there was a BB in there. Oh, okay, we're good. Um, but besides that, he doesn't have a lot of counterplay. And 8-bit's definitely not the best counter. It's not the worst, but um, Mr. P can kind of run circles around him sometimes. So he's going to try body blocking with his penguins, and it's actually going to do a really good job. You can see how much HP those have, especially when they spawn in so frequently. Um, but I think we do have this game... Just got to oh, the M's is here. Okay. Hopefully Bobby can get offense while we take out the M's. Yeah, we should be fine, though. We're up a good amount. Um, if this Mr. P had his star power, I think it would be a different game. Star power is so busted. Ugh. Go, Bobby. Be free. 
All right, we're on safe. We're good. We're good. All right, guys. Game number four. Um, honestly, we should rip through this comp. Eight bit is really nice against Jesse, Rosa, and Nita. Um, as long as the Nita doesn't use the walls efficiently, and the Jesse bounces can be annoying. But I take this matchup any day. Um, all right, Jesse has turret, so Bobby should be able to take her out. Yeah. So at this point, you can just see we like me and Ash have really good control of the grass, which is the choke point on this map. Um, I'm one shot to my super, so I want to get it off the Rosa, and then I'll set it up back here. Just sometimes it's better to play them further back. That way, you make sure you get some value instead of like going for a risky one up high and potentially getting no value. Um, so you can see I still have it in range. I think Ash is just a little out of range, but we just changed it, chained it right back. Um, so I'll just throw it out here um, and we can go straight for the safe. They're going to body block, but just too much damage. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, sorry. I got carried away. <laughs> I was listening to my music. Um, game number five and they got a Colt. I mean, I like Colt. I like the pick, but it's not, not going to do very much. Yeah, I, I should have anticipated that. Um, I didn't see their comp at the start of the game, so I wasn't sure about what their third was. But... Um, you know, don't face check bushes like that with 8-bit. You're just so slow and you'll get auto aim down. So if they're going to go back there, I'll start working on holding mid. And we're going to go down here probably, but we did some work on the Colt. And Ash and Bobby are going to do a good job just holding it down until I get back out there. It's <laughs> you don't want to die on 8-bit. You can see just how long it actually takes getting up the field. Um, so pretty much, usually you want to do all that you can to stay alive just because... Of his speed um but we're set up pretty nice right now and yeah they have an 8-bit with turret as well but bobby's gonna go over there and we'll get a nice pinch going down and we can go for the colt here actually so it's gonna wait for him to cut back and all right got a good shot off on him but let's start going for some damage now on the save so we just want to keep the colt's attention dodge back and forth a little bit and you know even the 8-bit um he was in the right place shooting the turret but you know, there's just too much for the little 8-bit to deal with right now. And we will take out the safe. That one was a little lengthy. We got under a minute. So, under a minute left. All right, guys. Game number six, I think. We might we might go to seven or eight for this video. The games are so quick. And I got to hit that 10-minute mark. Um, you guys know how it is. But let's see what they got. Okay, they got Penny. And they're doubling up Ash's lane. So, you can go down the lane with 8-bit too. The only issue is he's probably a better lane than M's here just because M's can check the bush. Um, he's just so slow. So you wouldn't want to go up the right side. The right side is usually where the tank goes on this map. Um, but you could also just double up the mid, which a lot of the time is what we're doing. Um, we can honestly just ignore them and go for damage on the safe. But it's Anita, so just leave the Anita alone. The Anita's not going to do anything. As long as she doesn't have Hyper Bear. No Hyper Bear and you're good. So I'll try shielding Ash a little bit so he stays healthy. Um, and we can actually finish here. All right, 140. I think I think we're gonna have to do um, eight games because these are like really quick. So. All right, guys, game number seven. Hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. <laughs> um, they got a Brock, which does counter me, and I didn't see the other ones. I saw a Rosa, which uh, I'm happy about that. And was that Anita? It was Koala Anita. Make sure you cop the skin. Support Australia. Um, so the Brock is going to tag me. I'll just go for the Rosa a little bit and weave in and out of the Brock shots. Hopefully mm, I jinxed it. Um, all right, we're dealing with some leg. We can honestly, it's not worth our time to deal with the Nita. We can pinch it when Ash is back, but it's not really worth our time to just go for her. Like she's hit like the save five times. It's, it's not going anywhere. Um, so, okay. She did the right play coming back. But it's already over at this point. Um, just going to go into the damage multiplier. And can we get it? Rose is going to body block. Ash is going to finish it off, though. 140. That seems to be... I think we finished here a, four, a few times. So you guys can kind of get a rough estimate of what's in store if you play this comp right. All right, guys. This is going to be the last game. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. It's 24 minutes of recording. But I feel like a good amount of matchmaking. Uh, Ash and Bobby are like 850s. So this early in the season, NA matchmaking really sucks. It kind of always sucks. Um, <laughs> a lot of it skill-wise, but also time-wise. Um, but we got to... Here, I'll just go up this. So they are a triple spawner, and 
you know what, usually you don't want to auto aim there because they can i'll just take out the turret um but you don't want to auto aim up close with ape it i've real oh that is a lot of bombs going on it but they can weave in and out because he can't kite very well because he's so slow so i want to drop my turret but i don't want to kill ash so i'll drop it up against the box um and i think i can finish here hopefully hopefully uh, if i had my turret up i think i would have got it down but five percent pretty sure bobby just went in with super yeah he did and that is going to be game and the last game of this video yeah guys that is going to be it so i am grinding a little bit i mean <laughs> it's nothing impressive but i'm almost at 20k and what is it today's wednesday i think so you know we pushed 2.5k i think or something uh, around there anyways yeah grinding a little bit I'm just doing content a lot. Um, so streaming on the joint YouTube channel with Bobby, me and him are rotating. It's actually my turn right now. So I gotta go do that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Shout out to Bobby and Ash for helping me out with the push and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.